Welcome to the capital. Yes, we are back in Scotland's capital, Edinburgh. One of my favourite cities in Scotland, I must say. I actually love this city when I come into it. I came in over the airport way, driving, and you see the castle, you see Murrayfield. It's just a great city. It was just such a lovely drive. But we are here for a reason. And ladies and gentlemen, we're back for European football. <laughs> come on. You seen it last year, Scottish football in Europe. It's just so special, so, so special. We don't get it that often, and when we do, we take advantage of it. And tonight, it's going to be more of the same. Hearts versus Rosenberg. We were here for Hearts last year for the Fiorentina game. If you didn't catch that video, here's a clip. Hearts are back in Europe. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hearts didn't come out on top that night. However, what a night it was for atmosphere. We marched from the Shandon pub all the way down to the ground. And by the way, did the Gorgie boys put on an atmosphere. Tonight, it's going to be more of the same. However, there is a big change tonight. After a massive campaign last season to improve the overall atmosphere at Tynecastle Park, the Gorgie Ultras have now got their own section after working with hearts. And tonight, they're going to be situated behind the goal. And guess what? Guess who's going to be joining them? Hearts under the lights, a European night against Rosenberg. The ultras behind the goal. I just had to be well with them. So, getting into tonight's match, how did both teams get here? Well, Hearts, they actually finished fourth. Unfortunately, Aberdeen managed to pip them at the last minute, which meant Aberdeen are going to be playing in the next round and Hearts will be playing in this round. As for Rosenberg, the usual champions of Norway, they had a terrible season and have not been doing great as of late. Also, putting them into this position. Many Scottish football fans, you'll know Rosenberg from playing against the likes of Celtic in the Champions League. They're known as a Champions League or Europa League side. However, they've not been doing great as of late. This season, they're currently sitting in 8th position. I don't know what's happening, but it's not looking good anyway. Tonight is a massive, and I can't stress this enough, a massive opportunity for Hearts to do something special. Let's get to the ground and see what the fans think ahead of tonight's massive crunch match. Right, we're outside the ground. We've got Ryan and Jando. <laughs> Big Jando. By the way, how nice is that hat? If you've not seen the Hearts third kit, it's a cracker on it. It's an absolute belter. Boys, tonight, one task is on your hands, but you're up against Rosenberg. It's a very, very tough task. Can the Jambos do it? I reckon you score 1-0, and they'll start to get shaky. We'll just cheer them on, and we might get another. So I'm saying 2-0. But knowing it's hard, we'll probably lose, but... Hopefully it's doing that. I was here last season at the Fiorentina European game. Tonight, it's going to be a bit different. I'm in the Gorgie stand and we've got the Gorgie Ultras behind the goal. We've got a TIFO I'm hearing as well behind the goal. How good is the atmosphere going to be tonight for people that don't watch Scottish football? Hopefully brilliant. Hopefully. Oh. See, with the small games, the atmosphere really struggles to get going. But European nights, that's when it gets good. How do you think it's going to go? Big Jando! <laughs> Like what Ryan said, it'll go 1-0 and then we'll end up losing, but it'll be a good match because it's a European game, so... Yeah, what's the score going to be? 2-1. And boys, what's this flag I see? European Hearts, European Tour. Do you think you'll get one this season? Hopefully. Love it. You need to win tonight. Right, Kuba is doing an 85 times 10 upgrade, am I right? And you want me to open it? Let's just hope you don't get any hearts, players. You'll be gutted. <laughs> Who's he putting in it? See, that's the team he's putting in it. Oh, the fodder. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, it's a bit nasty, isn't it? Could have been better. Who have we got? Never let me open packs, mate. Shocking. Rookie error. Right, boys, how are we feeling tonight? You think so? Nine. This is the top I was talking about. Look how nice is that top? It's an absolute cracker on it. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the first leg's already been. So last week, Hearts came out against Rosenborg in Norway. 
Rosenborg came out 2-1 winners. So tonight, Rosenborg have actually got a one-goal advantage. Warden Shankland brought the two-goal deficit into one with a penalty. Tonight, it's all to play for, and the ball is in Hearts Court. We're here at Tynecastle Park, and what an occasion it's going to be. <laughs> the boys are starting early. <laughs> Love it. Right, we're joined by Murphy. Murphy. All right, lads. What a screamer I thought that is. Best up we've had Lucky in I've not done kit rankings because that would be through the roof. Best, Number one. Best up we've had for a long, long oh, time. Oh, love it. Yeah. See the old, it's just proper old fashioned. I, I love it's that. Lovely. Seen one of the, some of the boys kicking about with bucket hats for it as well. It's going to be a big seller this top. Yeah. Forget about the top. Tonight, Rosenberg. It's a massive, massive opportunity for Hearts to make a memorable night. When was the last time you had a memorable night here in Europe? In Europe? God, it was a long time. I would go back. I'm not even sure. Years by a Munich, something like that. It was a long time ago. Tonight's a massive task, Rosenberg. We know how big a club they are, however, it's all in Hearts Court tonight. How are you feeling? I'm feeling confident, very confident. We've not been playing great. It'll click tonight and I'm going for three or four nothing. Oh, that's confidence. It's right going to happen. It's because you get that top one, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're here with Alex outside probably the most proper football pub in Scotland, I would say. Ten Castle Arms, Ten Castle just in the background. Love it. Tonight, European night. Doesn't get bigger than this. How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, I hope, hope I win. 2 0. Shankland and Oda to score. In even, even a goal behind, do you think Hearts can still do it? Yeah, I mean, it would be better on Sunday. Sunday was poor, but I mean, big game tonight. Right? right, we're outside the ground, with Tommy. Tommy, you've got the flag, you've got the scarf, you're ready to go, aren't you? Mm -hmm. European night. Mm -hmm. What's the score going to be tonight? 2 1 Hearts. What's the score going to be tonight, boys? 2 0 Hearts. 3 0. How's it Five minutes later. Thank you, mate. Enough messing about, let's get in and feel the atmosphere for ourselves. Up the clean white steps and into the gorgie. Let's just make sure we get into the right stand this time. If any's remember the end of last season, <laughs> we'll put a clip here. Let's go and find our seat. So it turns out I'm in the wrong stand. <laughs> Time to go and get the right stand. Couldn't find my seat, couldn't find my section. And here we go, Tyne Castle under the floodlights, what a night this could be. Here comes the T4 for tonight, look at the size of this. And we're still going, I think this is going to be the length of the stand, look at the size of this. What an effort for these boys. The Gorgi Ultras sure have made a difference to Tynecastle. Look at this. This atmosphere's building. The shields are helping out and everything. Here we go. Listen to that roar. Here. <laughs> and it's time. Second leg, Europa Conference League. Can Hearts do it? Let's go. Rosenberg fans. And for 
que é o trânsito. Boa, tá cheio. Gol. Gol na Rosenborg. Four minutes in. And Hearts are now two goals down. That's a killer. Exactly the start, they didn't want it. Rosenberg fans are going nuts. Oh my goodness. Nearly two in two minutes. Hearts need to sort this out. Oh, the ball's out there. Oh! My goodness, get that away. That is a let off for Hearts. So nearly two to Rosenberg. So sloppy at the back. Oh, Shankland's in! This place has erupted for that goal. Oh! Why not, what up? Fans are right pop to this. <laughs> this place is a cold one when it gets going. Shanklin again. Boys. Time. One each hearts have still got a job to do. Right, so it's half time here. Big man, 45 minutes for the Jambos to do it. Can they do it? 100 percent Yeah. I was very confident coming into it, but we started off a little bit rocky, but we've come into it and I'm feeling we've been positive now. So hopefully we can bash on a bit and I'm feeling a bit more confident now. Eh? How do you think of the Gorgeltras, the atmosphere? I'm loving it, you know, like, Tank Castle's always had a good atmosphere, always had a good fortress, and these boys are really showing, like, what we can really do. Love that. Final message, Mona. Mona Gorgie, sub to Blair McAnally. If Legend. you don't, you're not a good person. Legend, man, thank you. 45 minutes to get a result. The Jambos need a goal, can they do it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get away. Oh my goodness! Off the line. Oh. Intercepted. Oh. Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh.
special. Special. Gorgi Ultras have been fantastic tonight. Had this place rocking. And they've had a massive part to play in this comeback. Plus his high pressing has been the factor all night. Rosenberg just can't handle it. Every time we get the ball, he's getting taken right back off them. This is starting to get nippy now into the final five minutes. Every single ball is to count for. One goal wins us. Oh, this is nervy. Get that away. Just get it away. Up the park. Oh, what are they doing here, Hearts? What are they doing here? A minute to go. And I'm messing about with the back. Jesus. Hearts hanging on. Seven minutes added on. Can Hearts find a winner? Just got the extra time. Hit that. Oh. No way. Ultras are doing their best. Minutes to go. Can the Jumbos do it? Edge of the seat stuff us. Get it away. Go on! Should be a monumental victory for Hearts. As we heard from the fans earlier today, they can't remember the last big European yeah. one. And they've done it! Whoa. Look what it means to these fans! Hearts have done it! Hearts have beaten Rosenborg! And they will be joining! The Edinburgh Rivals Hibs in the next round of the UEFA Europa Conference League. Wow! What a night! Look at this place! Look what it means to these boys! They are loving it! Hearts have just beaten Rosenberg! And they are in dream one.
us, and let me tell you, we're enjoying it. Right, hey, we're outside the stadium and it's taken me about 10 minutes to get over that. Alan, we're back on the channel and wow, mate, explain that as a jambo. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I'm leaving, a, I'm leaving a Hearts fan, right? Listen to my voice, my, my voice is gone. What a night and what a story. <sighs> if you've not already, click that subscription button, click the like button and I will see you in the next one. In fact, I think we might be back at Tynecastle on Sunday. I think so. Stay tuned for that one.